Hi Sagittarius, it's CJ here. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. Thank you for all the love and all the support um, for my channel and myself. I appreciate you so much and I send you my love. Sagi, I hope the last week or so since I've done my last reading you've been doing well and that you know if you celebrated Christmas or any of the holidays that it all went really smooth for you. This reading today will be for Thursday, December 29th. Mercury retrograde going in. Um, we'll see how that's going to be going for about the next two to three weeks. Could have a little issues with communication, technology, all that stuff. Um, but like I said, this is a daily read. Remember that time is fluid, so only um, just know that whenever you're called to this reading, there may be a message for you. It may not be on the 29th of December. And as well, remember it is general, so only take what flows to you, Sag. Don't force it. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Come back another time and see uh, there may be another message for you. All right, Sag, Mwah. I have missed you very much. Let us get into this reading. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly. My computer is still glitching a little bit. I am really hoping. I've saged. I've, I'm not technical, um, so I'm pretty hopeless on that kind of stuff. I'm Fingers crossed, ask my guys, please let this work so that I can get this reading out to those Sagittariuses that this reading is meant for. So join me, good vibrations, computer, webcam, let's make this work. All right, Spirit, let's get into the reading for Sagittarius, December 29th, 2022, coming closer to the new year. I do hope to have your January readings out, perhaps by the weekend, we'll see. Um, I'm kind of taste trying to take it really slow, listening to my energy, listening to my vibration, um, and I'm not gonna force myself, so we're just gonna see how it goes. All right, Saggy, let's begin. Spirit, what message for Sagittarius, December 29th? Please show me clearly. What message for beautiful Sagittarius? And also, I forgot to mention, <laughs> If you do um, like my style and you want to dive in a little deeper about something that might be going on in your life, Sagittarius, all my information is down below. Just send me an email and we can try and schedule something. Okay, this deck is very quiet. I see this is still the theme over the last couple of weeks for Sagittarius spirit. What message do you have? Okay, thank you. Come to the edge. Well, that's interesting because as you know, for those of you that are part of this beautiful soul tribe here, I always shuffle off camera, I meditate, all that kind of stuff. I happen to know that the Fool card is underneath my Light Seer's deck. It showed up three times when I was shuffling and it is on the bottom. So come to the edge. This is pretty much like the Fool card. It is talking about you really um, knocking out obstacles, removing any blockages in whatever area in your life this may be. It's general, so it could be about love, could be about your career, family, um, just how you feel about yourself. Many different ways. There's a lot of you out there. But come to the edge is about just doing that. Come to the edge. Take the risk. Take the jump and trust that you will find, you will land exactly where you're meant to, um, where you're supposed to. This is that energy of not holding back as well. So if there's something you need to say to get off your get off your heart, to get off your chest, this is the time. Speak your truth, Saggy. It is number 36, and that is nine. It is, it's made up of number three though, right? And for me, three is about all your power. Three is one of the most powerful numbers for myself that I believe. Um, I feel like it is really your mind, body, soul all coming together, working in tangent to make major moves, major manifestation, however this applies for you. But it's beautiful. And for some of you, it could be about love. It could be about um, someone might be pursuing you here if you're single. There's hearts all over this card. So this might be saying, hey, it's time for you if you've been single for a long while and maybe are interested, but you haven't maybe put yourself out there. Um, this is the message to say, come to the edge, take a, take a chance, take a risk. Let's see what's on the bottom. To the sea, beautiful, okay. Put this deck back here. All right, Sag, to the sea. It's interesting because I love this card. Um, it is about being in the water. It is about you really nurturing yourself, taking time out for you to get clear in your mind, in your emotions, how you're feeling. Could even be indicating here that some of you need some extra rest. Makes sense, we just went through Christmas. Um, got New Year's coming up here. About, this is like, take that time. She's in a bathtub. She's in a bathtub in the middle of an ocean and she's not concerned or worried at all. It's almost even like there's a fog around her, but she's just doing her thing. She's trusting that the direction she's going in is gonna take her exactly where she wants. 
non-gender specific reading. So male, female, doesn't matter, but it's a female on this card. To the C. So I feel in some ways, this is almost like the energy of taking time out to think things out and just really connect with your inner guidance system here. Take that moment out to um, really connect with what way you want to move forward, but they are telling you to come to the edge, Sag. It's number seven, so number seven might be really important for someone out there. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what's waiting. As I said, the fool card on the bottom. So new beginning in something here. Spirit is coming through to say for whoever's reading this is, whatever Sagittarius is out there, that this is your reading. They are saying it is time. It is time to take the brakes off of something. Okay, let's begin, Spirit. Let's get three cards for Sagittarius. December 29. Look at this. Queen of Wands, baby. That's your energy coming out here, Sag. Love it. Okay, let's just continue before I start blabbing. Queen of Wands. Very exciting. Spirit, two more cards, please. Sagittarius, December 29th. This is all about following your passions. Hold on a second here. Following your passions. We got, oh, wow, we got the Major Arcana right in the center at the moment. The Star, Aquarius. Talking about healing. Right now we have Leo's card on the bottom. Strength. Some of you guys have gone through like hell and back. I'm really picking up specifically on a relationship. It does not have to be romantic. This could be family. It could be uh, friends. It could even be coworkers. People though that are in your close vicinity that you have given your heart to. Um, I'm getting a feeling that you have really been through it. That's why the star is showing up because it's about healing. But let me get one more card before we continue. All right, spirit, show me clearly. One final card, and then we can clarify as needed. Okay, three of wands, wow. Bottom of the deck, king of swords, three of pentacles, the world, okay. All right, Saji, we start off with the queen of wands. Now remember, it's for December 29th. I like this energy. This feels like a big shift happening in, in you. Um, emotional, even though we don't have the cups here, but I am feeling it is in the emotional realm. Queen of Wands, fire, right? She is a queen. She has gone through everything to become the queen. She's at the place where she is revitalized. She is excited. She's full of passion. She's creating magic. There's nothing that's holding her back anymore. Again, doesn't matter if you're male or female. The reading is non-gender specific. There is an energy of you really putting your your energy into following what you want in your life. So for some of you, this is a big career move, a big jump, um, something that you are coming to the edge, a new start. You're doing something that might feel a little bit risky, but it also feels very, very fun and exciting. For others of you, this is about some kind of relationship that you are open and ready and willing to start to receive passion. Wands are all about our passion. So passions could be our hobbies. It can be our creative processes. It could be our work, um, however it applies. But it also can be about love. I always say this. Cops are about re um, relationships and emotions. But so is fire because fire is very passionate and intense, you know. So for some of you, this is a new beginning in a romantic situation. For others of you, it is just a new beginning of you doing things the way that you want, letting go of stuff that is from your past, taking the scissors out, uh, metaphorically speaking, and cutting the ties that have been bound to you, the weight, the hurt, the disappointment. You know, when you hold on to anything from the past, it's not always easy. Trust me, I just went through a little bit of something like that over the, my Christmas holidays. Um, you know, it's not always easy when you're wounded and you've been hurt and um, it's not always easy to open yourself up and give um, other people another chance or even to open yourself up um, to, to know that you can be safe and yet still have your heart open. There's something about the past here that is really, um, you are going to be healing from. I feel like you're probably already in the process of it. If I look at the bottom of the deck and for most of you guys, you know that the bottom of the deck is really important to my reads. It is about the foundation of your reading. So the, we got the King of Swords here. So this is Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquari uh, Aquarius, yes. King of Swords, this is about really using your logic, your analytical side, Sagittarius, 
getting yourself up to a position where you can see really clearly and the emotions are on the back burner here. You're not really focused on the hurt or the, the, the past pain, trauma, trauma, betrayal, whatever, right? It's not about that. It's about getting up high. He's on the top of a mountain. It's about using that wisdom that you have so much of, Sag, with the owl here, about that inner wisdom, and trusting that you are seeing clearly of which way you want to move forward. Um, really, but you, th this is an analytical kind of energy of seeing very clearly and seeing perhaps whatever happened in your past, whether that be recent, whether that be 10 years ago, understanding, coming to a real clear understanding in your mind that you do not need to hold on to that anymore and it is time to free yourself and move forward so that you are really inviting what you want in your life. Three of Pentacles even underneath that is about working on this, you know, coming together with yourself, coming together with others perhaps and collaborating to work on something, to bring something to fruition. Now, we, I said we had the world. It is important to discuss the world because the world is a powerful card about endings. This is a closure card, especially in your reading right now, Sag. It's like taking the time and the effort, perhaps, you know, that's why to the sea is coming out, um, to really analyze how you've been feeling about that specific person or many people or that job, whatever it is, the disappointment, the hurt. And I know I keep saying that, but it's because of the star that's showing up here and really understanding it and seeing it from a different perspective, almost like the owl here, seeing it from a different perspective where you gain your power back and you also gain your passion and that beautiful fiery energy that you have, Sag, within you to really open up to trusting that what is meant for you is coming towards you. you there was lessons you had to go through here um, that as painful as it probably was for a lot of you, you have to go through it because it is about teaching you what you want and what you don't want. They want you to be risky a little bit here. I, I don't normally give that advice, but I even have to say when I was shuffling my treasures from Takashi, and I will use that, um, the risk card came out about three times I've seen it. So, and I do pay attention to what cards are happening when I'm splitting and what's on the bottom of the deck. So there's a feeling here that they want you to use your mind, be logical, be analytical, but free yourself. Use that sword of truth to disconnect, cut the ties, um, let go, and leave it in the past so that you can come to this new place and have a new beginning in some area of your life, Sag. I said the star. Now it's in the center. This is a beautiful card. Aquarius's card here. So right now, we really just have fire and air showing up. This is a major arcana, so it's a big deal. But the star is about healing, releasing, forgiving even, but letting go and trusting that your inner guidance system, your higher being within yourself, your angels, your guides, the divine source, whatever it is you believe in, Sag, there is a coming to peace that rises you up and allows you to like almost believe again to almost get like, how can I put this? Cause it's such a beautiful energy that they're giving me. It's like you just really kind of getting excited again and realizing that what has happened, whatever the pain has been, um, you don't need to have that anymore. You don't need to carry that anymore. You already learned the lesson. So I feel that this is you going, I want to have a life that is exciting spontaneous. I mean, you, Sag, are represented really about, there is about spontaneous within you. you. Are you analytical? Of course. You're very loving. You're very giving. But there is something about you that likes a little bit of adventure for the majority of you, right? Um, and I feel like this is what is coming towards you. A big read for a Thursday. Again, this might extend into the, the weekend, um, into the new year. But we have the Three of Wands showing up. So what I love about this, it's like you're sitting in a position, if this is your reading, Sag, where you're understanding that, you know, maybe life has been dull, it has been boring, it has been heavy, uh, and you're coming to this place where it's like, that's it, I'm going to take a little bit of time out for myself, I'm going to really check in with what matters to me, um, because there's no one else in the to the sea here. This person is just, you know, doing the rest, the recovery, the um, clarity, search, that's what's happening here. 
Um, and you're, you're really getting focused of, no, I want to have this excitement in my life. I want to have this love in my life. I want to be open up to, you know, find my, my person, um, if that's how it resonates with you. And you will be making the moves. You're making the decision. Three of Wands, forward movement, baby. This is no longer con um, contemplating. It is, I am on my way. It's a three. I've got a little ways to go, but it is going to be beautiful. It's going to be exciting and it feels like an adventure. They're giving to me, some of you may be traveling here. Three of Wands, I do sometimes see that as, as travel. Um, but they're really giving it to me right now. So some of you may be deciding that you are traveling. You're going to make, a, you're going to make some decision to travel or even move, you know, move to a new place. You might have been thinking about it for quite a while, but however this is, there's a big expansion happening for you, Sagittarius, and it feels really wonderful and it feels really exciting. Like even if I just show you these cards, how they are coming at me, the colors, the energy, they really just are popping. Like it's just a popping kind of, my, my camera's not doing very much justice, but I'm not going to complain. It's still running. But there's beautiful, look at all this fire and light and purple and gold. This is positive as heck for you. Big time of releasing, a big time of moving on and moving forward, but with that beautiful clarity of knowing what you do want. You don't need to worry about how you're gonna get it. You just need to realize what it is you want. Once you understand what it is, things will start to fall into place. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. I wanna continue. Let's see what else Spirit wants to get you, Saggy, for Thursday. December 29th. Now, I will, okay, a little caution they just gave me. If you are traveling, and this is just maybe you're traveling tomorrow. I mean, that makes sense, right? We just have holidays, so a lot of people are traveling, maybe returning home, maybe, I don't know, maybe moving back home. Be really mindful of booking things here. There's something about that Mercury retrograde I'd forgotten, and then they brought it back to me. Just be extra, like, make sure that you're, reading the fine print on anything you're signing, making sure that you check in to make sure that it's um, all in alignment. But that is a very tiny energy that they're giving me here. I really feel like it's about take the leap, do what you need to do, go where you want, follow your heart, follow your passions. Um, but just on the technical side <laughs> with Mercury and retrograde. Okay, let's continue. What else do you have for spirit, for spirit, for Sagittarius for the 29th of December? Okay, what do we have? Three of Pentacles again. So this could be indicating there's something that you're healing um, from that involves two other people, Sag. You know, uh, maybe there's been two or three people that have really crushed you in some way. Something to do with the star here, right? Um, star could also be representing the fact that you are, like you're going to be really successful. Like the star, you know, it can be a wish fulfillment. And perhaps for some of you, you're working on something and it is really going to take off. Okay, another side note, but we got the world again on the bottom. Ha, ah, okay, and now they're just saying to me, yes, the world twice. First time about completion. This time it feels more about you being a star, being on top of the world. Wow, okay, number 21, right? So that is a three as well, come to the edge. Is there something you've been working on and you're just about to um, promote it? You're about to do something like that uh, that is gonna be really big? Because, wow, the, the energy is interesting when you're channeling because they do give you different feelings. And now it feels like, wow, you are, someone out there, the Sag, feels like you got something really good about to just happen. It's something you've been working on it for a long time. Wow, Spirit, you're giving me wild messages. Okay, we'll leave that one out. Let's see, what else? Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. There's a lot of threes in this reading. The breakdown of three. Okay, show me more spirit for Sagittarius. What is it that Sag is working on? So look, this is a reading, it's a positive read. Some of you guys are healing, a lot of you are probably healing. Uh, and you're gonna take this risk. You may be being pursued in love. This could be a new chance you're taking as far as career. You may be making a move. For others of you, this is, um, and the completion is happening and you're really letting go, you're getting so clear. For others of you, this is about a big success that is coming your way 
And holy cow, does it feel so good. Feels so sweet. Okay, too many cards, Spirit. Too many. Uh, but the Four of Pentacles is showing up. So for those, those of you that have been working on something um, and you're about to bring it out to the world, um, yeah, you've kept it quiet for a bit, Four of Pentacles. And even for those of you that are just, you know, you've been carrying stuff around and you've been holding yourself kind of in that place of like not allowing yourself to grow, to move, to expand for fear of getting hurt. Um, this is important for you to let go of now. The healing has to happen. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Saji, we got the Ace of Pentacles for Pete's sakes. This is beautiful. This is obviously Earth. So it's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And we are in Capricorn season right now. In fact, Mercury retrograde obviously is going, doing that during Capricorn season. The groundedness, right? Ace of Pentacles, money, material things, self-worth right? It is the potential to have a huge, huge amount of money. And I get it. Not everyone's about the money, but this is about a new seed that has been planted that will grow. As long as there's a lot of effort put in, love, attention to it, it will grow. It is beautiful. A new beginning. Um, and for some of you, this is definitely a new beginning in your self-confidence. After releasing the past hurts, you know, you really begin to it's almost like you become very self-aware and you become very much like, ah, oh, I see why that happened. And now I don't need that anymore so I can free myself and heal and I can move on. Three of Wands is about moving, right? Now look at this. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, and now we have the Knight of Wands. I like this, Sag. This energy here is, look, and there's that horse. There's that horse. There you are, Sag, in the back. This energy is about going after what you want and not, not really kind of giving a shit. <laughs> That's the, probably the best way to put it. Releasing any rules, regulations, any kind of obligations, anything that makes you feel stuck, tied, and actually just saying, forget it, I'm going after it, and I'm going to enjoy the whole process. Uh, because look at how excited this person is. Very happy, very joyful. So bottom of the deck, this is something that is going to change your life moving forward. Remember, you had the Fool card and you got come to the edge. Followed by the Knight of Pentacles. So slow and steady wins the race. This is obviously not something that has happened overnight. This is a transition that you've been going through for quite a while, Sag. And like I said, for some of you, this might, have, this might be years ago that you are finally coming to this place where you're able to just let go. Yep, you're able to let go, and wow, it just feels so good. It's taken a while. Knight of Pentacles. It's slow, steady movement, but it is worth it. And look at this. We have the Six of Wands next. Celebration, victory, um, people seeing you, celebrating you, acknowledging, honoring you. This is beautiful. There's that gorgeous wreath of victory. She's standing up there, even if you look at the spotlights. Two Vs, that feels like victory to me um and she's got an applause going on so it's like you've made it it might not just happen tomorrow but it is you're gonna get to this place where you've made it saggy okay so let us close your reading off i hope this is um helping but i feel very excited about this energy it just feels like a a reset that's what it feels like after a time though of taking a little bit of energy for yourself so that you really know what direction you're heading in um, because this this person in this boat there is an arrow at the very front you see and it's all about the direction that she's flowing in but she's sitting there pretty much relaxing and enjoying the direction she's going and she's trusting right she knows that she's being protected that there's her guides her loved ones even that have cr crossed over her angels she knows that however this all works whatever decision that is you're having to make to come to the edge, that it all is in divine timing and it is all happening for you. Wow, I like it. Okay, Sag, let's close this off. Let's get a Treasures from Takashi and see what Spirit has for you for this Thursday. Beautiful new beginning. There's some kind of ending. And then there's also this rising to the top, like the world is your oyster thing. I don't know what this is. So if this is something to do with some some 
creative process or something that you're, you've built. It's really weird. I'm not getting a clear image in my mind's eye, but it feels like, and again, this is not going to be for all of you, but for those of you that this is, there's something that you've been working on and I feel like you're about to put it out there. Put it out there. And I, th I feel like you, things are going to move rapidly for you. A lot of support. There's going to be a lot of support behind you. Okay, I feel like that's about all they want to give me here. Give me one second, Sag. What is this? What is it? And they want me to take a little closer look at this. It's just really odd. I mean, it's just, it feels like I never get this with the Knight of Pentacles. There's 11 Pentacles on it. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Pentacles. What are you giving me here, Spirit? 11 Pentacles. I, can't, I don't know what this means. Maybe there's something to do with 11? Okay. Um, I'm going to have to let this go because I can't pick what they're getting here. There's some kind of relevance about this, even more so than slow and steady wins a race. There's something more about this, but I'm not able to get it. Um, watch, I'll probably stop the reading and then I'll get it. So, um, hmm, I don't know. Something to do with this horse and the 11 pentacles. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe someone out there that resonates, but take it only if it does. All right. Let's close this reading off, Saggy. Okay. That was just a strange message. Show me clearly, please, spirit. What final message do you have for beautiful Sagittarius for Thursday? Let me know, though. I would love to hear if you are working on something, you're about to put it out. Well, I guess maybe you're not going to tell me um, until you're ready to put it out. But yeah, because it just feels like there's a lot of growth, a lot of growth. And it feels damn sweet. Show me clearly one card, please, Spirit. What final message do you have for Sagittarius? For those that resonate with this reading, please show me clearly. Sagittarius. Okay, we got like three. Okay, let's see. I think it's three. Responsibilities on the bottom. Surrender, communication, and practicality. Wow, okay. Um, let's start with the bottom. Responsibility. Be accountable to yourself. The onus is on you for who you are and what you have created. Others are responsible for themselves, so do not try to take away their journey by assuming responsibility for them. You need never be victim when you know that you have choices in every moment and you take responsibility for them. This feels beautiful because it does feel like the growth. It almost feels like King of Swords, that you're really, <coughs> excuse me, you're really kind of rising up here and saying, you know what, let me take the, take the view from a higher position and see how this all came to be to where I am right now. And then it's so much easier than to like just let it go because there's just you're taking responsibility of it, right? So we have surrender next. Surrender to the highest force of your being and expect that which is always for your highest purpose. Let go and live. Like look at the fool card, this. Let go. Let go and live. You do not always need to control the direction. Simply surrender to the energy of it all. Saji, how interesting is that statement? Because she has surrendered. You know, she has surrendered to the direction she's going in. She's just chilling there. Um, okay, so you need not use your logical mind to create miracles. Only know that the answer to the question comes when you let go the need to have the answer. It's almost like that law of attraction thing, right? The more you focus positive, the more easier it is for the vibration to match you and to bring that in. Um, when we start to worry a little bit too much, then that stops things. Come to the edge. And then we have communication. What are you saying or not saying? Are your communications clear? Not all communications are verbal. Now is the time to communicate your thoughts and feelings. Speak your mind clearly so as not to be misunderstood. Be inspired as, your commun as you communicate on all levels with yourself and other energetic beings. I feel like I started this reading off with that something to do with I feel like I'm reading for a lot of different Sagittariuses out there that are all on different paths so please 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 only take what resonates and put the energy there right because I feel like I'm talking to at least four different paths right now that's what it feels like 
Okay. And then finally, Sag, we have practical practicality. Be practical and do it easy. Do not make things more complicated than you need to. Everything will work out the way it is meant to unfold. It is time to tidy up, clean up loose ends, attend to the practical side of life, and allow sense to prevail. You have sound, down-to-earth, and workable projects waiting for your energy input. Do not doubt your practical capabilities. Okay, that's beautiful. I love that because you do have a lot of success coming here towards you. Feels like in business, but even as far as romantic, I'll say, it feels that there is um, really beautiful energy coming towards you. There's a healing here. There's a need for you to just let go and live like it says. There is a need for you to come to the edge, to take the risk, to take the jump. And do it with your heart fully open. You already have the most, you have so much wisdom in you, you're not going to screw up. It's not going to not work out for you. It is. Because look at that. Even I just looked underneath, <laughs> underneath the deck. We had communication, right, on the bottom. Um, we have, I think it was, no, it was responsibility. We then have delight. And then we have joy. So these are coming towards you here. Beautiful. I'm not going to read it because I've these are already long enough. But <clears throat> you got a lot of beautiful things coming your way. Saggy. And you deserve it. Okay. Wow. I'm going to leave it there. I do hope it helped. Resonated in some way. At least maybe offered a little bit of um, confirmation for you. I love you, Sag. Thank you for sticking by me. Um, you know, apologies for not getting a few readings out over the time. But I just, I seriously, I needed an energy break. Um, so... Thank you. I, again, I adore you and have a wonderful Thursday and I will try and get your Friday up and the new year up, um, you know, as I can to my schedule. Mwah. I send you so many kisses and hugs and just have a wonderful day. And I, it was nice to connect with you again. It felt like a long time and I've been missing my friend. All right. Mwah, Saggy. We'll see you on Friday. All right. If you choose to come. All right. Take care, Sag.